Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you just a couple of patterns from the new Vogue collection for fall. I am so excited for this. There's so many goodies. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is packed in here pretty good, you guys. Okay, so the full collection is on simplicity.com, but I did want to share with you just a couple of my top picks for this fall season because this is a really good collection, you guys. I think you're going to like it. So this is Vogue 2044. I love this dress. It's got those trendy bows on the front. This is a Mrs. dress with A, B, C, and D cup sizes with sleeve and length variations um, this goes from a size 8 to a 24 and um, it looks like it has the short sleeve version and then a long sleeve version and then you can do floor length or you could do midi length um, this pattern is beautiful it's so beautiful it's I can definitely see this being um, something for the holidays for sure we also have Vogue pattern 2045, this military style dress. This is so different and just so beautiful. I love, love, love the structure of this. Um, it's got like the princess darts on the front and the back. Um, you have that um, breast pocket there. You've got those sharp, um, sharp, sharp collar points there as well. This is a very, very, very structured um dress um yes so this is a mrs dress with collar and sleeve variations view a has cut in shoulders very nice view b has extended shoulders with um i think it's epaulets which are like the little like i think those are the um the tabs on the shoulder um pointed collar with collar stand two-piece sleeves come on now and um, the fabrics are garbadine, medium weight wools, twill, and wool, wool crepe. And there's also a lining with this. Absolutely stunning. I love that. I love that so much. So this is definitely giving holiday party vibes, Vogue 2047, or honestly, even like holiday wedding season, which is totally a thing. Um, I am loving the bow. I am loving that, that really sharp sweetheart neckline. Um, this is categorized as a Mrs. Evening Dress. Um, it's close fitting, lined, it's strapless. Um, it has a draped bodice with a bow detail. Um, we can see all of that. This goes from a size eight to a 26. Um, and so the fabric choices are brocade, Mikado, and Shantung. I can see all of that. This is, this is absolutely stunning. Um, and this is considered advanced for um, anyone who's interested. This is considered an advanced pattern. This is also by Bagley Mishka, by the way. So beautiful. I love this one. This is Vogue pattern 2048. Um, this pattern is an evening dress with these really, really cool exaggerated bows. I mean, the bows are the statement, are the moment. Um, and if you actually look on the line drawings, it looks like the bows can be almost manipulated. Um, so it looks like there is a full strap and then over the full strap are the bow ties. So if you wanted to manipulate that a different way than what it's showing on the envelope cover, you can absolutely do that. Um, but this is considered a special occasion dress. Um, it's close fitting with a raised waist and a deep v-neck front, invisible back zipper, um, the skirt is full and whatnot, and then views C and D are actually the petticoat pattern to go underneath this. So that is amazing um, that they have a petticoat pattern to go with this. This goes from sizes 6 all the way up to a 24. Um, let me see here. Fabrics include brocade, oh, I can't talk. Fabrics include brocade, dotted Swiss, lace, Mikado, and taffeta. Makes absolute perfect sense. Yes, I love this. All right, next up we have Vogue pattern 2054. This is a cape and a belt. View A is shorter and it's got the um, pockets along the bust. 
and then view B is longer and it looks like it's got welt pockets um, towards the waistline and view A does not have any lining it doesn't appear to have any lining view B which is the longer one again has the lining so the fabrics include boiled wool denim fleece medium weight woolens um, and then of course there is um, some notions here as well just some interfacing and whatnot this really reminds me of another um, Vogue cape that is already in the collection, but this one has definitely been elevated and made more sophisticated with just the welt pockets. And you've got um, just other, you know, collar options versus like, I think mine, the one that I'm thinking about has like the standing collar. This one has got the pointed collar. And so this one has definitely been elevated and grown up in a lot of ways. And so, um, this is a good pattern y'all okay so i am most definitely super excited for vogue 2055 which is this um trench coat pattern y'all this trench coat pattern is bad like i i don't even know where to begin like this trench coat pattern amazing um so you've got the trench coat there's a a version and a b version a has a long panel designed to be draped over the shoulder. This is um, from the actual notes here on the back of the uh, pattern envelope. Um, overall, this is a loose fitting lined trench coat with a collar, con collar stand, two piece raglan sleeves, storm flaps, welt pockets, and a self belt with belt loops and a back vent. This, this pattern is rich. It has a lot of details but the details are so good I just love that a has that drape over the the shoulder like come on now come on come on fall <laughs> um, and then as you can imagine this does take quite a bit of fabric it looks like um, depending on if you choose a or B as far as the pattern um, you could be looking at anywhere between five and seven yards of the outer fabric um, so it, it does seem like it takes a bit of fabric here, but here's the fabric options. Um, cotton blends, medium weight wools, water repellent fabrics, um, and then the lining, cl uh, cotton flannel, uh, twill lining or lining fabrics and whatnot. Um, and this goes from size eight all the way up to a 26. So um, the range on here is pretty, is pretty good as well. <clears throat> and this pattern is listed as advanced. All right, next up, Vogue Pattern 2056. This is a jacket and skirt. I love this set together. It's giving like almost like um, businesswoman, but like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting like um, Downton Abbey, almost like um, Lady Mary vibes. Lady Mary, she kind of would wear like jackets and skirts like this um if you've ever followed the show um her skirt wouldn't have that slit in the front um at least not that high up but this is what this reminds me of and i think that's why i'm so drawn to this pattern so this pattern is a line jacket semi-fitted in the front with a caped back caped at that <clears throat> come on now and <laughs> two-piece sleeves with a working vent double-breasted front with welt pockets with flaps um the skirt is unlined it's semi-fitted and it's a tapered skirt that sits on the natural natural waist has a center front and center back slits um and then an invisible um back zipper closure so the fabrics include crepe flannel linen blends medium weight medium weight wools twill um and then lining fabric for your lining this goes up from a size 8 to a 26 and this is considered an advanced pattern all right, next up is Vogue 2049. Ah, this is, I thought this was just a, 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 a shirt. No, this is a bodysuit. This is gorgeous. Um, so this is a, it's almost like an asymmetrical neckline type bodysuit. Um, and it's got, there's, you know, view A has got, has, view A has got the drape. And then it looks like view B just has that shoulder gather right there. Um, this is um, obviously for four-way stretch knit fabrics um, and then cotton spandex, rayon spandex, stretch velvet even. It, it does have the, um, the stretch fabric guide on the back of this envelope as well. And uh, yeah, this, this pattern is beautiful. 
Um, this is listed as average as well, as far as the, um, the sewing pattern level. Okay, I'm about to get into some vintage patterns. I'm so excited for all of these. Um, they're all beautiful. I'm gonna start with the new DVF pattern. This is Vogue 2060. Um, this is the wrap dress without the collar and it can be worn two ways. It could be worn forwards and backwards. So you can have the wrap in the front or you can have the wrap in the back, which is very, very cool. Um, so this one is for stretchable knits only. So if you remember with Vogue 2000, the, um, the first uh, DVF pattern that we launched this year, it was for stretch knits and wovens. This pattern specifically is just for stretch knits. So I just wanna make sure um, that you guys know that. But um, obviously cotton knits, jersey, lightweight double knits, and then it's got the stretch fabric gauge on the back. This goes from a size eight to a 26. The 26 will give you a bust line of uh, 50 inches. I made the original DVF pattern the beginning of this year. And so the, the yardage is about the same between four and five yards. That sounds about right. Um, but yeah, so this is really exciting. Here's some ways that the model is wearing it. So I can't wait to see this out in the sewing streets. I know there's gonna be a couple of people that will definitely get creative with this pattern. Next up is Vogue 2061. This is a ball gown pattern. So this is a dress and a stole. Um, so this is a pattern from 1954 and um, it can be either an evening dress or a bridal dress. That's really exciting. And so this is an all around gathered skirt in two lengths. Um, so it looks like you've got like the, um, it's probably like a T length it looks like on the cover and then you have the floor length. So this goes from a size eight to a 26 as well. Um, it does say that the uh, authentic vintage reproduction includes additional size options and cutting layouts. Very nice. Um, and then the fabrics for the bodice and skirt include scalloped edge lace and embroidered edging. In the envelope, you can see there's quite a bit of detail on the, the bodice at the very top and then towards the bottom of the skirt too. And then it looks like view A has a bit of like a sheer covering which I think is cool as well. <clears throat> so, so many things you can do with this pattern. Okay, so this one I think is just fabulous, like absolutely fabulous. I'm, I'm anticipating that we're gonna see quite a few people make this. So this is Vogue 2062. This is a reissue circa 1959. This is a full length play suit, um, which is, it's got sleeves and it's got full length pants with the full skirt. So if you're familiar with like the other vintage play suits that they have for summer, which are like the shorts with like the midriff and stuff like that, this is definitely like the fall version of that, which is absolutely stunning. Like this is, this is stunning. And so it is a, they call it a slack suit and skirt. <clears throat> so it's a one piece slack suit and skirt, slacks in two lanes joined the fitted bodice at the waistline. It's got a zip, zipper front closing below the notch collar and below elbow length sleeves that may be rolled up for cuffs and sleevelessness or maybe rolled back for cuffs and sleeveless. Sorry. <laughs> um, all around gathered skirt in two lengths separates at the front. Yep. And then because this is an authentic vintage reproduction and includes additional size options and cutting layouts. This does take quite a bit of fabric. Um, it looks like if you were to do um, <clears throat> the suit and the skirt, it would take anywhere between five to seven yards of fabric based on the length of your fabric. Um, and then what's very nice is that they actually break out. If you were to just do the slack suit without the skirt, it breaks down um, the fabric that you would need for that. So that's between three and four yards of fabric if you just decide to do the slack suit. So that's very nice that they broke that out. Um, but yes, so it's it looks like the finished garment measurements would be inside the um, instructions here as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And you can follow me at Raven Maureen right here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. See y'all later. Bye.